here, Wayne. So it's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's early August. Really nice. Um, originally, we were supposed to go up to the ski nap, but that trip kind of didn't pan out. And uh, luckily enough, our friend Bon Chovy came in the rescue, and uh, we're out here fishing around the Gulf Islands. So we left Granville Island this morning around 6.30, and uh, we drove one hour across to the other side, because apparently the fishing's really good. So the plan today is kind of like, uh, we're gonna start out with Chinook salmon fishing. That's what we're doing today, right? Yep. Chinooks first, and uh, depending on how the fishing is, we might try a little bit of lingcod, we might try a bit of sockeye. Um, a but bit, of, bit of everything. Bit of everything, yeah. So there's a nice variety around here. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. So we're out here today with Bon Chovy and we're fishing with our guide Dimitri here, who I know Dimitri very well because he is best friends with my boyfriend Cody. And we've known each other and we've spent time together hanging out. And very lucky, I don't think I've ever fished with you saltwater. We've don't still had so. the odd time, but yeah. it's yeah. never saltwater. So very excited. Um, we're fishing very deep today. How deep are we actually fishing today, Dimitri? Well, we're fishing in 230 to 265 feet of water. And we're trying to stay as close to the bottom as we can, so we're using up to 300 feet of downrigger cable available and pretty heavy cannonballs. Today we're running 20 pound cannonballs and we're trying to target these Chinooks as they migrate back to the Fraser River. What's different about when you're fishing this deep? Like what does it take? I mean obviously you're fishing you know almost 300 feet down. How is that different and how do you set the rods differently than say if you were just fishing closer to Vancouver? Well. The biggest factor in fishing at such extreme depth is actually current. Um, going with or against the current will make a big difference on both your speed um, as well as how your gear works and controlling your depth. If you, if you really watch your down or your cable angle, which is the most critical thing in keeping stuff close to the bottom in this fishery, when we're fighting the current, your cables tend to push way out and you have to slow down in order to keep them close to the bottom and when you're going with the current your cable shallow up and you're covering a lot more ground and your gears generally speaking fishing at a lot better pace. Um, our release clips are set to the stiffest setting and uh, the line is all the way in the back make sure that they don't pop off at that depth because it's a lot of reeling for, for a reset and uh, a lot of the fish here tend to blow the blow the line off the clip, which is good. They get the hooks fairly fairly well each time. There isn't a lot of uh, a lot of a hook set required because of the speed that I'm going and the tension of the release clip. When they do finally grab it and and rip it off that downrigger clip, it's they've got it pretty good usually. Is the current moving very fast near the bottom? Um, the bottom current is definitely not as significant as the surface current and that's the biggest thing is obviously the boat has a lot of draft and so what ends up what ends up happening is the boat gets pushed by the surface current and you're going with it and you don't have to throttle up per se as much as when you're turned into it and fighting against it and your gears working real hard because your gears going against it as well so generally speaking going with the current is when you get most of your bites and, and you're fishing most effectively. Well there's a big school of, of herring below and so we are going to drop down right. How deep are we? Inside? We're in 230. 210. 
fishing 200 feet and this fish is yeah. pulling line out, so they probably have about 300 feet of line. Oh, they bring goodness. back now. Now I can't keep up. Oh, oh, is, is it off? It's gone. Oh, that's gone, all that work. <laughs> Just laughing. Was that, was that his chance? Is that my chance? I guess so. Ah. Okay, go next. Do you want to see what happened? It, it was just really hard. Like, we, we uh, have never fished Chinook that deep and try to catch up on that line, and it ran yeah. so much. Do you think it ran out or up? Usually they run down along the bottom. Yeah, so that fish actually stayed on the bottom for quite a while. And uh, actually took out quite a bit of the line, so it had about three, 300 feet of line out. So that's a little line bringing on a single action reel. I was getting pretty tired, but then it unfortunately popped off um, as we came closer to the surface. Oh well, it's the way it is. Might get another one, but apparently that was my chance. No, uh, you can we, go again. We're rotating again, so... No, you no, you, go you, again. you go ahead and catch your fish. No, Rod, because I actually saw how much pain yeah. you were in, so I'm just going no. to let you keep going. So you keep one. No, we'll, Rod. We'll split it, right? <laughs> oh, you want me to do all the work and then we split the meat? That's not how it works. Go, go. Real kitty. Hit him again. Yep. There you go, you got him. Okay, let's go, drag Hi, girl. He knows how to do it. And Jill's gonna do the same thing. Yeah, we got this. So. We'll show Rod, it's okay. Okay, so a five five to seven minute feisty fight, and this is the fish that we pulled up later. I was really really worried actually about fighting and going next, uh, especially after watching Rod trying to bring in that first one. But you just gotta keep reeling, keep the rod tip up, and don't give up. Oh my oh. god. Double 
That's a nice one too. Very nice touch. Yeah. It was really tough and then it felt probably a lot bigger, probably where it was hooked. But uh, it fought pretty hard at the beginning. It did take a couple runs and then it started coming in and it felt really, really heavy. And it was just kind of acting a little bit weird. It was just holding. It wasn't really doing much. Other than that, it was just kind of in position. Um, holding there, but it, it felt heavy, but it wasn't running. And then we discussed maybe it was laying on on the end. But no, it ended up being a pretty nice snack. We figured probably about 13, 14 pounds maybe. It's a good fish. Oh, fish, 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 no, fish, 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 during that fight because <laughs> like honestly I was pretty <laughs> I was nervous and tired I didn't want to lose it but I was struggling frankly I was struggling to, to reel that one in there you go nice summer chinook salmon roughly yeah. around what would you say how big it is oh, it's fine. 15 pounds I would say yeah 14 yeah it's around that mid teens so beautiful fish I'm complaining So what are you doing now? Uh, we're gonna drop down and do some deep water ling and troll some uh, herring and some swim baits for them. I always want to check your roll. You rig up your herring. That's a good one. Oh my gosh! Oh! Yes, 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 yes. Yes! Oh! Wow! Yay! Holy smokes! How do I hold that? That's way bigger than I thought. I don't know why. This is the best because the link cod fishing can be potentially tough in this area, but he's proven himself wrong by getting back to back, almost 20s or just at 20s uh, pound link cod. <laughs> it's a 
the same size actually. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Right now, we got our Chinook salmon, we got a link cod, well, that's great, <laughs> and we just outside Vancouver, so don't complain. You didn't have to travel halfway across the province. Absolutely, yeah. All right, here it is, uh, roughly around 20 pounds again. Yeah. Just like the other two fish, and beautiful fish, and this is kind of like the size you want them for eating, anywhere between 10 and 20 pounds. It's perfect eating size for link cod. Beauty. And this is definitely my favorite fish to eat. So, very happy. Nice work. Thank you. Yeah. yeah no freaking way. Yeah, she got one. Yeah, she got one. Whatever it is. Hey, I was sitting over your shoulder and I watched it. was like. Here, you can get, get in and do that. Okay, so while we're posing with the other fish, my fish, uh, the rod behind the camera woman just went off and uh, here we have fish number four. In less than an hour, we got four link cards. Another little one. Yeah. Little baby oh, one. Oh, little one, yeah. So. Uh, he's gonna be like a baby eagle. We'll just measure that one. Okay. 76. There you go. Woo! Number four. <laughs> All done. Oh. Cool. Full in causing less than an hour after we got our Chinook salmon. So now we're gonna go home. <laughs> fun day today. I don't know about you. I That was pretty awesome. It was pretty awesome for you. What was the best part? Well, I've never caught a link pod before, so for me that was a highlight today. I, I didn't even know what to expect when it came to catching the link pod, so for me that was like the highlight of today. <laughs> well, after you got yours, I really didn't know if we'd get another one. I've never actually seen three decent sized lane cod caught back, back, to back, back. To back. Yeah. It was awesome. Um, coming into this trip, you know, I've come out to Vancouver. I've done a little bit of ocean fishing a couple times here and there, uh, a little bit outside of Vancouver Island and Nanaimo, and I've never actually had a successful day. So today was full of surprises. We had so much going on. I mean, I don't think anybody compl could complain about a day like today. That was, that was amazing. Beautiful springs. Gorgeous size link cod. Beautiful. Sun. Sun. It was warm. We were in t-shirts all day. Hot I mean, dogs, great company. It was a lot of fun. It was really nice to go and have a day out like that. Just right, what are we, 40 minutes from Vancouver? That's pretty yeah. fun. I really liked fishing locally and I haven't done it for a while this summer. We've been bouncing around between different locations around the province, so it was a real treat spending it at home today. So and you get to come home and you get to go home early and you're home and very short. Sure. Yeah. I know. This it's is fun. your backyard. It is. Well, this is I your backyard. It. I love it. It's great. So if you need any more local information about Vancouver fisheries, uh, you can check out www.bonchovy.com. And you know what? Until next time, as always. Good luck fishing. Now, girls, so help, please. Oh, gosh. You take it. Pour it. Ah, oh, fish, 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 fish. Is there fish? Yeah, Go, Go, Okay, no. sorry. Yeah. I'm excited to see how this works. Shit, all the way to go for ruining my oh, cooking no. seminar. What? Do you ever get do you ever get Chinook while going for Link Cup? Yeah, if I rig them up with a full herring, definitely. Yeah? Rod, are you feeling a little seasick? No. What? No, please don't. You can't be seasick. This will make the video a heck of a lot better. And you know what? Until next time, as always. Don't say. Good luck, Good luck fishing. fishing! You don't watch his videos enough!